Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Saturday, April 16th, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I am a desire warrior. And being a desire warrior goes pan pan in alignment with one of my favorite quotes right now. Um, be impeccable with your desire. And this is really good timing. We're finishing up the moon in Leo. Um, and the moon in Leo today is connecting to the sun at 27 degrees. That is the nine degree. That is the degree of passion. That is the degree of Mars, which tunes us into our desire and how we're wanting to move forward with that. And so with the sun and the moon connecting in that today and Mars and Pluto both preparing to go retrograde, we are really tuning in to our desire energy, our passion energy. And it's really an opportunity to kind of look at it, shift it, and notice where we're in alignment with it. That's what being impeccable with it is, is are you in alignment with what you want, what you really, really want? Are you in alignment with what with your passion for being, your passion for living. So allow that to be your focus today. Your focus is going to really help you work through this. So sun and moon connecting in the morning. The sun and moon connecting in the morning definitely may have you, I don't know, waking up kind of bright, cheery, and chipper, but the moon is then going to begin the void of course process. It's going to shift into Virgo. And with that shift into Virgo and the lessening of the grand trine of fire, we may not have that same zip, zap, <laughs> get up and go that we had the last few days. So your body may be like, oh, I need to take it a little easy now because because I pushed it a little hard over the last couple days. So if you're feeling that during that void course, allow your body's desire for rest, your body's desire for listening to Mahalo and his infinite cat wisdom of you sleep all day if you need to. Um, let that guide you because with the moon into Virgo, we are tuning into the body. And I love our connection that we have this evening with the moon in Virgo. We have Venus and Jupiter in conjunct. So they're not really quite, quite seeing eye to eye. So Venus in Aries, helping us look at our worth around our I am and inspire creativity on a new level around our I am. But that in conjunct with Jupiter is a little bit uncomfortable. And this is happening at 14 degrees. That's a five. So it takes it to the mental energy. And what came up for this connection is actually um, a Rumi quote. Let the beauty you love be what you do. There are hundreds of ways to kneel and kiss the ground. Have you ever listened like to Abraham, for instance? She's like, you know, if you're going in the wrong direction, if you're not moving into what you desire, it's a good time to take a nap. So again, don't Fight that energy of rest if it comes upon you. Listen to your body. Tune into your body and let it, just let it, um, let it help you shift into this Mars retrograde that we're moving into early Sunday morning, the Pluto retrograde. With these shifts, you know, we have to find our new rhythm because the planet energy is different. It feels different to us. So find your new rhythm. Let the beauty you love be what you do. Um, let's see, what else did I want to mention about this? Something about the Venus-Jupiter thing also reminded me of a quote I just saw by Michael Xavier. He's a beautiful poet. And the quote was, the brain chooses the amusement park, the heart chooses the ride. So really remember that in this mental energy. You know, there's, there's enough decisions for all parts of you. So really, even though this is in conjunction, you're not seeing eye to eye, see how you can work together in this. Um, Mercury is also still working with the Vesta energy and we do have Mercury in the shadow. So we're starting to look within and as we look within and we're looking within around our worth issues, our talents, we find that divine spark. Vesta is the fire within us. It's the divine fire within us. Vesta is the keeper of the sacred flame. So really recognize the sacred flame within you. So that is it for today. Oh my gosh, I just realized I forgot to pull cards. Let's talk about like Mercury Retro. I don't have cards because they're packed in my purse as well. So no cards for today, but just let, let Rumi be enough. Let the beauty you love be what you do. And <clears throat> book a reading if you'd like to dive in further. And I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.